Greetings everyone. Uh, my last video I did a deck profile on my Crusher Gravekeeper deck and now I'm making a follow-up video talking about all the combos that you can have in the deck. Now for any of you advanced players you don't have to watch this video just because some of the stuff will be very very obvious uh, if not all of it so I'm trying to reach you know the younger people I'm trying to you know make them play better you know just become a better player in general so uh, or you know just follow along and you know if you guys have any other combos that I may have missed you know leave comments down below that way you guys are helping other viewers so uh, that's pretty cool uh, now this card's really really broken it's a four star dark thousand attack yes crush card if we had it uh, when you normal summon a monster the same attribute as himself you get to pop a card on the field so it's just like descendant so you I mean, I just like that just because you're able to control the board so easily. And you'll be controlling the game even easier because you're using Necro Valley. Just shuts off basically every graveyard effect. So that's just really, really, really good. If you get to build up your board, it's going to be hard for your opponent to win. And, you know, you may be thinking, oh, well, what happens if I get rid of your Crusher or, you know, one of your monsters? Well... Here is the reason why the deck is so good. Let's say you go turn one set spy. Let's say they go summon Neos Alias attack. Like activate Gravekeeper spy. Grab recruiter. Okay. Uh, they put a card to their back row pass. I'm like, okay, draw. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, my back row is clear and all that. I mean, I'm just doing the scenario. So let's say I summon Descendant, right? Descendant, priority, pop the recruiter, pop whatever, recruiter's effect, grab commandant, main phase two, use commandant, pitch, add necro valley, play necro valley, you know, let's say we have a few back rows, and then I say go, uh, then let's say they get rid of my descendant, I'm like, oh, well, damn, that sucks, now I'm like, oh, well, draw, oh, well, hey, that's, pretty cool. I'm going to play Gravekeeper Stelly. I'm going to grab my Recruiter and my Descendant back. So see, as you can see already, you just get the loop cards over and over and over. And just being able to pop a card with Descendant, you're most likely going to be popping the Recruiter. Uh, it's going to be replacing itself because of Recruiter's effect. So that's what makes the deck so solid. Uh, that and the Gravekeeper spell card that they have. It just shuts off all graveyard effects. Really, really powerful. Uh, like I said, I mean, this stuff's obvious, but, you know, I just wanted to give one of these videos a go. Uh, another cool combo. <laughs> you can just have that. Double attack. I'm like, whatever. Search out that. Not that. Recruiter. Next turn, I'm like, draw. I'm like, oh, well, hey, this is pretty good. Summon. Sorry for that, guys. <laughs> Alright, uh, so let's say I summon the Gale. Gale, an Arcanite. Well, first of all, I use Gale's effect. Gale and Spy to make Arcanite. Sorry. Pop two cards on the field. Broken. Uh, of course, activate Gale at first. Uh, just really, really good. Or you can just have Gale. Synchro 3 and 3. Make a 6. Uh, it's really, really good. And then Recruiter's going to replace itself. Uh, you'll grab Commandant. Then play the Valley. And now you got a 2500 defense spy on the board. So then if you draw a Gravekeeper, you'll have something to pop off like if you draw the descendant or anything like that so that's really really good and Jesus God like let me turn my phone off here alright and let's say I played Necro Valley let's say I have three four five in hand actually <clears throat> I apologize, it's my first time doing this sort of video. Uh, let's see, I open up with like this hand. 
This hand is really, really broken. This is duality, by the way. Commandant, pitch, grab Knucker Valley. Okay. Play the Knucker Valley. Set. 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 Well, I mean, that doesn't really matter. But then you play the Royal Tribute. And at minimum, if you hit one card, it's a one for one trade off. But you can hit up to five. Really, really broken. And I don't like that people are not using this card. Some are even siding it. And the reason people would side it is because there's a lot of decks that don't do mass sets. Or there's a lot of decks that do mass sets, so uh, the tribute may not hit anything. So, And I completely understand that, but just read the card. I mean, it's just like Crush Card, too. Would you not run Crush Card right now if we had it just because people mass set? Exactly. Uh, so, yeah, you play the Royal Tribute. And then you play the pot, look at the top three, grab something, and then you're good to go, you know? Uh, I just really love Royal Tribute, and I always will. As long as the card's around, I'm going to use it, so I don't care what anyone says. Uh, Royal Oppression. Uh, why wouldn't you use the card? Uh, you do run one tuner, but, you know, you're not going to be, like, drawing it often, uh... I suppose you would have the same odds of drawing Gale than uh, Oppression, but uh, I mean, you can just use Gale to have stuff and then just go to town. Uh, the thing with Oppression, you have to be really smart with it. Don't just like, you know, set it the turn you get it or anything like that, because if they get rid of your board, they can start to hurt you. Uh, but with Gravekeepers, the cool thing with the deck is this is the deck, or this is the card that special summons in the deck. So what you'll want to do is just set it. You don't want to flip it because A, uh, they could warning it, and B, if you flip it with this, they can just pay negate. So you want your opponent to ram into it, uh, at least knocking that out of the way. They can still warning, but uh, yeah. So yeah, you understand that. Uh, the reason I'm running Trap Dash Shoot and Mind Crush, I'm running Royal Tributes. Uh, so Royal Tribute. Playing a Royal Tribute and then having Mind Crush is broken. That is a three card combo, but if you can hit like three cards out of their hand and then be like, oh, well, I'll hit your Dark Hole. Now what are you going to do? Shit. So, and then, uh, you know, if you don't have the Tribute, then you just play the Trap Dust Shoot, send something back to the deck, and then just Mind Crush. That's a very, very old combo. Uh, very good, though. Uh, I mean, that's all I really wanted to say about the deck. There's not a whole lot of stuff, you know. That you can talk about when it comes to gravekeepers. I apologize for some of you guys uh, who were like, "Like, why the hell are you making this deck or this uh, video, guy?" You know, uh, like I said, I just try and reach every type of player out there. I, if I can help at least one person out, uh, then it's totally worth it for me. I get plenty of people hitting me up saying, "Oh, I love your videos. You know, your suggestions help me out, stuff like that." So, if you guys like this sort of segment, then you know, I will do it. Uh, I'll take all my deck profiles and turn it into a two-parter. That way I can show you all the combos and all that. Uh, uh, of course, I couldn't go wild on Gravekeepers just because there's not a lot of, like, thinking and all that. But when it comes to a deck like Karakoris, there's tons involved. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's it for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you want more of these. And peace.